Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to our midweek um, Holy Communion service. We meet in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father, but we have turned aside from your way. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your word is a light on our path, but we have walked in the darkness of our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd, leading us to everlasting life, but we have not listened to your voice. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Lord Jesus Christ came into this world to save sinners. Hear then the word of grace and the assurance of pardon. Your sins are forgiven for his sake. Amen. Let us pray. Blessed Lord, who caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning, help us so to hear them to read, mark, and inwardly digest them, that through patience and the comfort of your holy word, we may embrace and forever hold fast of the hope of everlasting life, which you have given us in your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. John chapter 15, reading from verses 17. These things I have commanded you, that you love one another. If the world hates you, Know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. Yet, because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember that the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you also. If they kept my word, they will keep your words also. But all these things they will do to you for my sake, because they do not know him who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have no sin. But now they have no excuse for their sin. He who hates me hates my father also. If I have not done among them the works which no one else did, they would not have no sin. But now they have seen and also hated me and my father. But this happened that the word might be fulfilled which was written in the law. They hated me without a cause. But when the Helper comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will testify of me, and you also will bear witness, because you have been with me from the beginning. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Let us pray. May I speak in the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please have a seat. Now, some preachers uh, promise a life of peace and happiness, but the Bible promises something else. All who desire to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution. 
Jesus is using a strong word when he said people will oppose us for following him or hate us. The fact that we will face hatred and persecution indicates that the reality and depths of our commitment to Jesus Christ will be tested to the highest degree. As you live out your Christian faith, expect to be occasionally misunderstood or be harassed. Be prepared to be hated because of Christ. Our faith in Christ may bring criticism at home. It may cost us a promotion or a career opportunity. A lived out faith can bring unwarranted legal action. And it can sometimes cause an uncomfortable silence as friends abandon us. Following Jesus Christ has a cost and those who think they can escape this cost of discipleship are misguided. Jesus' words suggest if we never encounter opposition, then our commitment to him may not be real. But if we truly live our lives and live out our Christian faith, then it is possible also for our actions, our, our words, to offend other people because they may seem inappropriate Whenever we encounter uh, the hostility, we must remember that we are called to live with grace and truth, not rudeness and obnoxiousness. The good news is, Jesus offers hope in that the Holy Spirit gives us strength to endure the unreasonable hatred and the evil in our world and the hostility that many have towards Christ. This is especially encouraging to those who face persecution for their faith in Christ. Amen. Let's have a moment of silence as we Respond to the sermon with the creed. Do you believe and trust in God the Father, the source of all being, the one for whom we exist? We believe and trust in Him. Do you believe and trust in God the Son, who took our human nature, died for us and rose again? We believe and trust in Him. Do you believe and trust in God the Holy Spirit, who gives life to the people of the world and make Christ known in all the world? We believe and trust in Him. This is the faith of the church. This is our faith. We believe and trust in one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your world. We pray for the nations of the world. And we pray for leaders of the nations of the world. We pray for our Prime Minister and his cabinet. We pray for all members of Parliament. We pray especially for members of Parliament in this area, South End. And we pray for the family members of Sir David Ames, that you will strengthen them in this time of mourning and give them hope of your eternal glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, we pray for the ministry of your church. We pray for the Church of England. We pray for our bishops, priests, and deacons. And we pray for the clergy here and the ministry of this church in this community, that you will bless all our ministry here and that we will win souls for your kingdom. Enable us to flourish in this church and to make Christ known in this community. 
Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, we pray for hospitals across the globe, and we pray especially for the National Health Service in the United Kingdom. We pray for all hospital staff, consultants, doctors, nurses, and volunteers. We pray that you give them skill, resilience, and sympathy, that through their work, many will be restored to good health and strength. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Comfort and heal all those who are sick in body, mind, and spirit. And we pray especially for all those who struggle with mental well-being and mental health, that you will strengthen them and grant them your healing. Lord, in your mercy, yeah. hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, we pray for all those who have died in the faith of Christ. Remember today, as uh, David's family, his wife and children, we pray for all those who mourn the loss of their loved ones and for those who are preparing to bid farewell to their loved ones, that you will grant them hope, strengthen their heart in this time of mourning. We thank you for ourselves. We thank you for allowing us to see the light of this day. We pray that you'll be with us in the conversations we have with people. Help us to love our neighbours as ourselves, to live in peace and harmony with all. Surrounded with all the prayers of the saints, we commend the whole human family into your tender and loving care. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. My dear friends, would you please stand for the peace? Jesus Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by the cross. We meet in his name and we share his peace. May the peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Christ to give thanks and praise. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God, our light and our salvation. To you be glory and praise forever. From the beginning, you have created all things, and all your works echo the silent music of your praise. In fullness of time, you made us in your image, the crown of all creation. You gave us breath and speech, that with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we find a voice to sing your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. How wonderful the works of your hands, O Lord. As a mother tenderly gathers her children, you embrace the people as your own. When they turn away and rebel, your love remains steadfast. From them you raise up Jesus to be our Saviour, in whom all our hungers are satisfied. He offered his life for sinners, and with a love stronger than death, he opened wide his arm for us on the cross. On the night before he died, he came to supper with his friends. Taking bread, he gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. 
Father, we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. We remember his dying and rising in glory. And we rejoice that he intercede for us at your right hand. Pour out your spirit upon us as we bring before you these gifts of your creation. May they be for us the, blood, the body and blood of your dear son. And as we eat and drink these holy things in your presence, form us in the likeness of Christ and build us into a living temple to your glory and bring us at last with the Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints to the vision of that eternal splendor for which you have created us through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom, with whom, and in whom, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven. We worship you, Almighty Father, in songs of everlasting praise, blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's presence with us, let us pray as our Saviour taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us peace. God's holy gifts for God's holy people. Jesus Christ is holy. Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. Amen. say together. Almighty God, 
we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and body to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Would you please stand for the blessing? My friends, may the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, keep your hearts and mind in the knowledge and the love of God and of His Son, Jesus Christ. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you now and always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.